can you schedule an event in Google Calendar and send the event over or invite the event over to other people, but the event have a Zoom link automatically placed there, right? And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do that, how when you set up an event in the calendar, you can have the Zoom link automatically be in there. Right? This can be done with an extension in Google Chrome. So yeah, let's jump into it. Let's go to my computer right now. All right. This actually can be done with just a simple plugin into your Google Chrome account. And then you can schedule, you know, using your Gmail account, using any of your Google account, and you have that Zoom function available. So let me show you how you can do this, right? First of all, you go to your Chrome Web Store, right? Go to this chrome.google.com, then you get to the Web Store. Then you search for the extension, Zoom Scheduler, right? Just click on it. Then you can see, just click on here. Now you just click add to Chrome, add extension, and it has been added to Chrome. So all you have to do, I just pin this and you log in to your Zoom account. So you can sign in with Google or you can use it your own email address that you use for your Zoom account. Yep, and you sign in already. So you can immediately start a meeting from here, or you can schedule a meeting. So today, we can talk a lot about scheduling, so let's go to schedule a meeting. Once you click schedule a meeting, it will open up the browser's default Google account, right? And then they will have this option here, join Zoom meeting, and you can see the link is automatically populated there. So you can put here, put any information here. Hi, invite you to this meeting. And then you can put guest. Just an example, you set the time and date, uh, whichever time and date that is suitable for you, any time and date, and then just click save. All right, so now you go to your calendar, right? You find for that thing, then you can see it's here, right? So you can see the meeting here, just click on here, and then you will open up your, your Zoom meeting. All right, so it is that simple. So another way you can do it, other than clicking directly from the extension, right? And there's another way you can do it, which is directly from the Google Calendar itself. So another method is for you to schedule it directly from the Google Calendar. So you go to your Google Calendar of your Google account, pick a time that is suitable for you, just click on it, right? pick a title, Zoom Meeting Test, then you just make it a Zoom Meeting, and then you can see that here. You see it's automatically populated. So there's a few ways you can do it. You just edit the event and then you can see that the links are here. You can add more guests, right? So we can, you can send it to everybody, then everybody can just click on the link and come in, right? And then you can see that uh, there's a few notifications. Uh, usually set a few notifications so that people don't forget. Yeah, and then let's go to Zoom and then you can see the meeting there. Go to Zoom and let's go to meetings. And you can see there's a few meeting, right? Which is, to, which is this is when I do the test. And this is when the Zoom meeting test that you saw just now in this calendar, right? Zoom meeting test and Zoom meeting test. Yeah, so it means it's, it's here, it's all done, right? So that's, that's how easily you can just use Zoom inside your Google Calendar with just a simple extension, all right? Thank you. Yep, hope you like what I shared. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. And if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, why don't you, right? This channel talks about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. And if you don't know me, hi, I'm Ken, and I help business owners to grow using digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So again, if you're interested in topics regarding digital marketing and entrepreneurship, do subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting this channel. And with that, I see you in my next video. Goodbye.